Hi, my name is Joe. Welcome to our midweek devotion. Wanted to pick up in the first message that Pastor John preached in our Colossians series, Alternate Reality. He preached about the alternative kingdom that we're a part of. And so do things a little bit different for the next six weeks as we journey through this book together and see what the Lord might have to say to us. So one of the things that John said a couple of times in his message that really stuck out was that we are different so that we can make a difference. Uh, We are people who live in a different place, a different kingdom, have a different reality, and so we can make a difference into the world around us. It says in the the book of Colossians, the prayer that John read out at the end that we're praying all week uh, and that we'll pray again today, is that that we can be filled with the knowledge of God's will uh, in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that we can walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him. And we can bear fruit in every good work and increase in the knowledge of God. And it just goes on being strengthened, giving thanks. The fact that we are delivered from darkness into the kingdom of his beloved son, where we have redemption and forgiveness of sins. So it's really exciting. So uh, as I'm thinking about that, that opens up the opportunity for each of us to think about where we can make a difference. And so I want to say a big thanks to uh, Jess Beanstrew, one of our life group leaders who came up with this idea of how we can think about how we influence people around us. So I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pen, and then we're going to have a look at how we can map out just a quick way of knowing where we've got influence and even who's influencing us and what the Lord might want to do in the midst of that. So think about it with, uh, with me in the middle, but obviously Jesus is there with me. <laughs> so I've got the cross there, and we're in this spot in the middle. I think about all the different um, people and places where I would have influence, but also influence me. So for me, I would think um, family. And so I have both my own family, um, immediate, but I also have my wider family, like my parents, my siblings, and my kids. So I have my family here. Uh, I have my work. And so at work, I have all sorts of different people. I work at the church, so it's obviously not, it's an interesting mission field, Um, but it's a place where I can have influence, but I'm also influenced. Uh, Then I have friends, and uh, I actually do have friends. Uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, and so they have influence on me and I have influence on them. Uh, I also, uh, I'm influenced probably by the media. Uh, that's a big influence in my life, but interesting to think about how I might influence that back. Then um, there's the people just I interact with on a daily basis, which um, really aren't friends or family, and they're not the people I work with. They're people in the shops and supermarket at the petrol station, and so, you know, I probably put the public um, about you know, their people that I'd interact with too. And so we all have these interactions in various ways. And so I influence them, they influence me backwards and forwards. And so I'd probably map this out if I was going to sit down and do this. And you can be doing this for you as well. You might have other people in these different circles. And so I'd think about, well, how do I influence these people? And so and how do they influence me? So I'm going to grab a different pen and I'm going to think about, so my family, I influence them because they know how I live. So uh, my personal transformation will uh, be a way that I influence them. But we have um, a personal history, and so they remember me as uh, a younger person who maybe have not been quite as much like Jesus. Uh, I hope that I've changed, and that is an influence. But their influence back on me is what they remember of me. And so that creates a really interesting tension about how we influence one another backwards and forwards. If you think about the media, well, they influence me a lot. So they, they, they take a lot of uh, my attention and access to me. Uh, And really, apart from me choosing to consume, I don't really have much influence back, but that's a really big influence in my life. So I need to think about that. Uh, That might actually change how I interact with the media. So if I think about all these things in all these different ways, and you can map that out for you in all sorts of different directions and what that looks like, but then I can start to think about that great prayer that um, we'll pray again in just a tick that John taught us, is that you know if he's transferred me from darkness to light, uh, if I am filled with all knowledge and wisdom and power because of the Holy Spirit dwelling in me, then I can really lean into my personal transformation and really start to share what that's happened because it's actually has really influenced my personal history and fixed it. It's actually redeemed me from those disobediences and those acts of a sinful youth that may be what my family remember me as. So my testimony actually starts to become the ability that uh, I have to influence my family. And I do that in prayer and I do that with submission to God and intimacy with Him. And so, you know, for uh, the media, maybe it's actually just letting the Holy Spirit Um, bear the fruit of self-control in my life and so I don't give them as much access and so because it's less of a one-way it's more of a one-way street um, I can actually just start to shut down the access it has 
or I can start to actually contribute back. Maybe I make a contribution into the media that my friends and family are viewing in social media and the algorithms will pick up my positive contribution back and I can ask the Lord for wisdom and discernment about how to demonstrate his love in those places. So as you can see for you, there'll be stuff in each area, but there's influence that we have and influence we receive. The Lord wants to use us because we are in an alternate kingdom because he is at the center of everything and he makes us different, as John said, so we can make a difference. There's uh, heaps of ways we can think about how we are influenced by those around us, but also how we are called to be a difference to influence the people that God's put in our lives. And so lots of things we can pray into, we can lean to, into, as I was talking about there. But as we wrap up this time together, I just want to pray that prayer again. And um, praying biblical prayers always, you know, you get your words mixed up, but just roll with me here and let me pray for you as we finish this time off together. Um, so I pray that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will, you may be filled with the knowledge and all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you might walk in a manner worthy of our Lord, that you'd be fully pleasing to him. I pray that you'd be bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in your knowledge of God. I pray that you would be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might. Amen. For all endurance and patience with joy. Man, having joy in all of those things. Yes, Lord, give us joy in the enduring and the, and the, the patient waiting. I pray that we would give thanks to the Father in all circumstances, the one who has qualified us to share in his amazing inheritance with all the other saints in light. We thank you, Lord, that you have delivered us from the domain of darkness and you're transferring us to the kingdom of your beloved Son. We thank you, Jesus, that in you we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. Pray all this in your name, Lord, and thank you for what you've done for each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for being with us today. Uh, Hopefully, if you're watching this live or later on, then you're blessed by this. Feel free to throw in a comment maybe about who the Lord's calling you to influence or where you're seeing his light break into uh, the darkness around us. So bless you with that today.